So let's talk for a minute real quick. So for those of you guys who are just starting out as a content creator or a streamer, you're going to need some of the requirements, the audio, the lighting, as well as well, the main important thing, your PC or console or whatever you're going to be streaming off of. But primarily, you are going to be needing a microphone. Now, this is the Shure MV7X. This microphone is exclusively XLR, meaning that it is not a plug and play like a regular USB microphone. It is an XLR, meaning it needs an audio interface with 48 volts of phantom power to power the microphone itself. And certain XLR microphones that are dynamic would require a cloud lifter or a fed head. These two are essentially what gives the microphone that extra gain that extra power that it needs to sound well to sound better now i'm not saying for you guys to go out there and buy a bunch of high and microphones like granted this is essentially the miniature version of the Shure sm7b the most popular microphone that you will be seeing in podcasts and live streams and even on youtube as content creators but with each microphone you also gotta understand it's not going to be the right one for you it might be the right one for somebody else but it's not the right one for you because with different microphones there's also different voices meaning that each microphone will make you sound a specific way prime example will be the rode pod mic the rode pod mic i love i love the aesthetics i love the build and i love the audio quality now with the audio quality of the rode pod mic however it's it gives me the podcast voice meaning it emphasizes a lot on the lows and the mids, not too much on the highs. So in having a microphone that close to you, obviously your audio is gonna be picking up a lot more. Now with this one, I do have filters and that's mainly what I'm gonna be talking to you about. Regardless of whatever microphone you have, you can always apply filters to it. Let me show you real quick. So right now I'm on OBS and OBS, as you can see right here, obviously it's not gonna look similar to how you guys have OBS set up. So from what I have here is I have my scenes, my sources, and this is for a plugin that I might go over in a later video, but we're not here for this. We're here for this right here, the audio mixer. And if you don't see it there, then you could go to docs and then click on audio mixer. Now, as you can see right here, I have two audio playing one for the Rode pod mic and the other for the shirt mv7x i had to name it because i kept getting mixed up with both things so i'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the filters in a second so this is how the shirt mv7x sounds it sounds very quiet it sounds very not pleasant i think i used that sentence right it doesn't sound pleasant it feels as if i have to speak directly into the microphone and you don't want that you want to have a little bit of space in between your voice and your microphone so i'm about to show you so this settings i'm about to show you is essentially specifically for the mv7x i've been looking at videos on youtube for like the good settings and then base my adjustments through there but there's not that many videos out there for this microphone, which is weird. So I'm about to be the first. Now, with this being said, we're gonna go into the filters. If you don't know how to get to the filters, so you go right here where you see your microphone being played, you're gonna click the three dots, and then you're gonna click on filters. Then it's gonna bring up this window where audio filters. Obviously, you're not gonna have these either, so you're gonna hit the plus and you're just gonna follow along as I go. So we're gonna start off with the game, and right now it sounds like I need a boost the game because right now my audio is between negative 25 and negative 20 decibels which is good you want to be in the green but being in the yellow like anything uh lower than negative 15 is still pretty good so we're going to turn on the game now i sound a lot louder now and i'm not close to the microphone i'm still in the same position as i was before now obviously you can tweak it to your liking originally i had it at six decibels and this is how it sounded i thought for me re-watching the video that it was still too loud so i had to tweak it and it's gonna be hard because you can't monitor the filters as you're activating it you have to record and then re-watch the playback video and then go back and then tweak it some more it's a tedious process and you got to do that with every single settings but i'm here to show you these settings and then you can go from there to make it easier on you guys so now that we have the gain enable we're going to go to the noise suppression now you're going to be having the speaks and the rn noise and then the nvidia i just went on to nvidia i'm going to provide the link in the description below where you can download the video as well as the audio graphics with your graphics card now 
I personally stick with the RN noise just because I love how it sounds and I love how it doesn't pick up that much of a background audio. You can also use the noise gate, but I I like it simple. I don't like things complex. This is simple. So for this filter, it targets the highs, mids, and lows. Now, if you don't know what it is, with each microphone, they have a frequency. And each frequency of a microphone may be different. The Rode PodMic, like I mentioned before, it targets the mids and the lows, not too much on the highs. This one is like a balance between all three, so I have to adjust it a little bit. So for the mids, I have at 6.4. For the highs, I have 7.3, and then for the lows, I have 5.7. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enable it, and boom. Simple as that. Now you, now you have crystal clear audio that's loud without hurting the ears of your viewers. Obviously, if I forgot to mention, on my Scarlett Focusrite, I have it at basically at nine o'clock. That's where I have the line on the gain knob. I have it facing nine o'clock, you know, because 12, three, six, nine, nine o'clock. Don't judge me. Now you could also take it a step forward and add more customization. I'm gonna provide a link in the description, a video and a link to download this plugin. So this is called the VST plugin. Now I'm not gonna turn it on so you guys can hear, but essentially once you install it and you open up OBS to set everything up, you can go on and hit open plugin interface and you can copy these settings. These are basically from the preset right here. Uh, for brighter and bassy. There's other presets like the side bass, mids, boost, lo fi's and whatnot. I like bright I like brighter and bassy because it just it does something to my voice and I just like it. So I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and hit um, enable it so you guys can hear it. So now this is how my audio sounds with the gain, noise suppression, three band equalizer, and the VS2 plugin. Let me know what, how it sounds. All right, so we are now back. So like I mentioned before, the VST2 plugin is it's a good way to get more gain to your microphone, but if you don't need it, you don't need to use it. With those three settings I mentioned before, the gain, noise suppression, as well as the, uh, can't think of it. My mind went blank. Hold on a second. The three band EQ, the EQ that comes with OBS, it's good and it's simple for you to use. We all like simple. We don't want to go out of our way and do like 20 steps to get the perfect stream when we can only do it in three. So that's basically all that I do to get this audio with this microphone. I might do another one for my Rode Pod mic if you guys are interested. If you're new to my channel and you like my vibe, you like my content, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification. That way you are alerted when I upload and stream. And yes, I am gonna be streaming on here. That's right. I'm gonna be streaming on this channel a lot more. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy and Take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.